Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to take this R uh, code and uh, we're, we're going to use it to set up a function for uh, Black Shoals uh, call and put. Uh, so we'll just take R here. It's uh, the formula is basically uh, Black Shoals call, including a dividend, and then we make we invoke what call parity, what call parity relationship that we saw before to run. Um, the estimation for the put option. I'm going to go very simply into online uh, EGB. There are different possibilities here, but uh, online EGB has uh, an option here for R, and we'll select that. We'll delete out the code that's there, and uh, we'll just paste in and run. Now, the values that I have here should produce for a black shoals call uh if s the stock price is 100 k is 100 or five percent dividend yield zero maturity one year volatility 20 percent and it's a call option we should get 1045 and if it's a put option with the same values we should get uh 557 so let's just run that and see what comes back and we can see here we get 10.4505 and 5.57, which is correct. Now, if we change the value of the dividend to 5% and the value of for the put option uh, for the parameter inputs change the dividend specification to 5%, uh, we should uh, produce a slightly lower value for um, the call and a slightly higher value for the puts, let's take a look at that. Also, the values should be equal to each other because of, uh, we can put call parity, but also uh, put call um, uh, symmetry as well from McDonald and Schroeder. Um, so we can see here we get 757. And again, I, I'm, I'm aware that those values are correct. Now, another online, resource that you might use here, we could copy. Um, there's a, a variety of online, online or compilers. Uh, we'll take a look at maybe one uh, additional one here. I'm gonna go with not the first one, um, with this one here. And, um, okay, let's just run. Okay, I accept. Uh, I should probably read that before I accept. So paste in our code and we'll just run, see what happens. Okay, and you can see we get the same values here as before. If I change the dividend specification, that's the fourth parameter or fourth argument to zero. So that's the dividend in each instance being zero. We should get 10.45 and 5.57. Let's run again and we're getting the same results. Okay, so this looks as if uh, we have a code that's working and we also uh, adhere to some of a put call parity and put call symmetry.